To many people, the word dinosaur conjures up an image of a big animal. Many dinosaurs did indeed fit that picture, but there were many that did not. The two kinds of dinosaurs shown in these scenes from 145 million years ago illustrate the range and sizes and shapes of these diverse, fascinating creatures. Dryosaurus, seen here, was just six to eight feet long, making it among the smallest dinosaurs found. Its jaws were toothless in front, but had a horny beak for nipping off plant stems and leaves. The teeth were set in the rear of the jaws and were enclosed by cheeks, helping to hold the food in place while it was chewed. Dryosaurus probably relied on its long legs for a speedy escape from predators. Its coloration is unknown, but here the artist has given it a pattern that could help it blend into shady thickets, another means of protection. At the other size extreme, Diplodocus grew to lengths of 80 to 85 feet. There wasn't much it could hide behind, but perhaps it didn't need to, for it was more than twice the length and three or four times the weight of the largest meat eaters of that time. Sheer size was its main defense. For food, it browsed on the fronds and needles of the tree ferns and conifers that grew then. Its long giraffe-like neck gave it an advantage in reaching high into the treetops. Its peg-like teeth, at the front of the jaws only, seemed to have been designed for plucking or raking foliage into the mouth, but not for chewing. It may have swallowed small stones, just as birds swallow gravel, to aid in digestion.